Hello friends. Today I will tell you about rotating a picture example in lab. Basically, we will use image processing over here. Right now, there is an image of a plane. When I hit on run button, as you see, the plane comes towards us. And if you want to rotate it, you can rotate this plane also. So basically, in this case, in the programming case, I just go to the block diagram window. Over here, the image of a plane is a 24-bit fix map. Over here, there is a 260 cross 260 matrix in which the plane is drawn. The math in the inner for loop calculates the new picture array with each pixel in a new position based on specified rotation angle and scale angle. And the scale and rotation are maintained by or managed by these two scales. Over here, this is a reverse 1 upon x. Let's say over here the value is x. Then I got 1 upon x and I find out it's this is real part and this is r and theta and according to this i got a complex number and it goes to over here and it is multiplied with its real and imaginary part over here from the 2d array as you see over here 260 cross 260 3d array or uh, 2d array not 3d over here this is the size if you want to check out the size i just create indicator so when I hit on run button I just stop it and over here you can find out 260 cross 260 means 260 columns 260 rows there is columns and over here is rows so I just go back delete this so over here I just use nested loops and this is my index array function okay again over here also this is index array and i just use this picture 2d picture image you can check its label also draw unflattened fix map i just make its label visible so that it is easy to find out this is for size so I just control U and this function is my control U wait for front panel activity and this function you can find out in dialog box over here wait for front panel activity okay so this is 2d picture so I just again go to my panel so when I hit on run button if you want to change the size of plane you can change it like this and if you want to rotate it it will rotate from minus pi to pi as you see minus pi is 3.14 it is in radians angle is in radians okay so this is now I just add on to this I want to change this image from my own image okay so I just go to image processing vision and motion over here vision and motion select it go to vision utility in the image management I just create an image let's say the name is 123 the name of the image and over here this is the image type so I just use grayscale unsigned 8 then I just go to the save file 
so I'll just connect this as you see over here it is saved now I want to create a path for the image so in my pictures I have a plain image that is different from the given one so browse for path over here in the pictures so I just use this image image is saved and I also want to check what type of image is this so I just go to vision on the front panel and over here I just use silver display small size let's say okay so I just connect this to my image when I hit on run button I got the image of plane that is different okay so I just decrease the size let's say so now over here I got my image now over here this is value from the image so right now I just delete this before deleting I just convert this image to pixels for that purpose I again go to our vision and motion toolbox in the vision and motion toolbox over here there is a pixel manipulation just lock it so I want to just convert image to array so I just use this function connect this to this so right now just delete this the input Im image and over here I got image pixels so when I hit on run button and when I stop it I got value inside it so I just make it few also let's check so make it false you can check out what is this it is a remade read file use file path use file path image type right now it is taking its own so when it is false so I just hit on button as you see over here I got the image in the form of 2d array so right now I also want to check the size so for that purpose I go to array operations over here I got its size the size of 2d array create indicator so when I hit on run button as you see I got a 260 cross 260 matrix in my case so I just delete this go back I just delete this also so right now over here I got the pixels so I just delete this part and right now this image goes to my image control V for removing so when I hit on the run, run button as you see over here I got this and it is just increasing the size and over here there is a my plane that is different for from initial one and if you want to also create image if you want to see this in image processing toolbox or you can say in this format so just copy this over here I just name it let's say 231 the name of the image and this image 
those two before this i want to convert this 2d array to picture or image so for that purpose i again goes to my vision and motion toolbox in this pixel manipulation over here image array i m a q image array to image so i just use this so over here this is u8 format and it will demand new image you have to save it before use and over here you get the image out so i just copy this and when you connect this in this part you can find out the image running image so when you move this as you see and if you want to increase decrease the size right now plane goes away from me it comes back to me goes away from to me so if you want to also enhance this like i am just putting some delay inside it one second delay let's say and in this case there is no need of this and this scale let's say comes from this and the scaling is from 0.12 so i just divide this because iteration starts from 0 create constant let's say 10 and it goes to this and when this value is equal to 10 my loop automatically stop when this value equal to 10 it will stop my loop so i just delete this and let's check the operation so i hit on run button as you see after one one second the plane comes to me and i also changing as you see size is goes on on increasing so this is how you can use image processing in lab view thank you